Kristen Kane was at New York Comic Con promoting season two of The Librarians, and The Daily Quirk is bringing you an exclusive interview. <laughs> so, can you tell us a little bit about your character going into season two? We hear we're going to be seeing a lot of your backstory. We are. I actually, it's it's really fun because you know, there, there, uh, John Rogers, who created the show and, and writes is is the, uh, the the writer. He has an end game for all of us, you know. And my end game is sort of like Indiana Jones or Drake from Uncharted. So, this bright-eyed, bushy-tailed guy that came into the library didn't know what was going on. Magic exists. He didn't know what. Now he's starting to realize that. And you hit so hard on his backstory right off the bat. It's episode two. And, um, and all the cards are on the table for my character. There's no, there is no wondering anymore. So now he's got all this weight on him, and the brow kind of comes down. He speaks a little different. You know, you start to see him making steps to go to uh, his end game, which would, which would be what we saw at the end of the season last year, where he was more of an action, action hero type guy, like Flynn, Flynn Carson, played by Noah Wiley. The first episode, the first movie, is kind of a, kind of a book geek, you know, like he was just, he was running around with his head cut off. He didn't know what was going on. Then you saw him in two. Then you saw him in three, and he kept progressing. And with more experience, and now he's Flynn Carson. Now he's a superhero. He's making. He's already made those steps. We get to start taking him as actors, and so it's gonna. It's fun to, uh, to to see him come in, really, really young, and not know what's going on, and start making progress to be Indiana Jones. And I mean, Harrison Ford's Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> now we hear your father will also be making an appearance. What was that like? It was. He was played. By, I'm not supposed to tell who the actor is, but he's. But he was. He was. He was unbelievable. He's a well-known actor. I can't believe that we got him. We played it to a T. We went to dinner. We had all this stuff. He's one of my dearest friends now, and he played it so well, man. And it was just like you know. And I and I and I have to. And, and the, the great thing about this episode is that, for me, because you know, with leverage, I used to fight a lot. It was more of a dance for me. Um, I get to um, I get to fight myself, and I've never seen that before. So I had to learn both sides of the dance. You know, it's kind of like Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. And I was playing both. And so um, it was uh, it, it was it was a lot of fun. It's a really brutal fight, and to see me beating up me, it was just it was pretty crazy, man. So that's fun. That's what's that's that's what I'm looking forward to the most is see see how the fans of the show really enjoy that, especially if you're a leverage fan. Yeah. Yeah. So we did see a bit of that scene of you fighting yourself in the in the trailer. What was filming that like? It was really crazy. We got hit a couple of times, me and my boy that I work with, Lex Damus, and uh, and um, but it was uh, you know like I said, I had to learn it one way, and then we, we you know t TV is not the same as movies. You you're working, it's fast. So we flipped it one way, and then we flipped it the other, and it was hard for us to remember where the choreographing was coming in. And we were also ad libbing a little bit. We we're making some stuff up. So we both got hit a couple of times. But he's a tough guy, and I, I like to think that I am sometimes. So um, it was fun. And then to see it finally happen on screen where they put my face, they CGI'd my face on, 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 you know, like two of my faces. I've seen it before, but it's always weird when it happens to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think fans are going to be the most excited to see this season? I think the camaraderie between us. We were finding the characters last year. We were finding the words. You know what I mean? We really were. And, uh, and it was a great season. This season, I honestly believe, is about ten times better. And we all trust each other, not only as actors, but we start trusting each other on the show. So it's all the pieces of the puzzle have finally fit. You know, And it's nowhere near where we're going to end up. But it's a lot fun. It's a lot, it's a lot better to see this year where we, we're finishing each other's sentences. You know, It's not like, who's going to go do this? Who's going to go do do that. We walk in as a fire team. We know exactly our job. If it's art or architecture or fighting, it's me. If it's fighting and shooting, it's Rebecca. If it's Lindy doing the math and telling us where to go, and it's fun because it's it's become this uh, this literally a fire team. It's like the, it's like the, it's like the Navy SEALs of books. Well, we're very excited to see the premiere of season two. Thank you so much for chatting with us today and enjoy New York Comic Con. Thank you so Thank much. You. Appreciate it. Great to meet you nice as well. You. Thank you.